You're about to learn how you can use ChatGPT to turn lifeless, boring widgets and UI designs into beautifully crafted 3D assets. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Anytime I ask ChatGPT to do something design related, it fails miserably. Well, up until a week ago, you'd be right. But now you can basically feed ChatGPT garbage and it will take it and turn it into sleek, premium looking UI elements. So let's open up Canva and quickly scrap together something a six year old could make. Now the magic is in the prompt. Take my basic design and make it look like Apple made it. Clean and minimal. Keep the text the same, but make it look sleek and professional. And in the matter of 30 seconds, we have something that looks twice as good. That was child's play. We're back in Canva, and as you can see, I made these three simple widgets that can be used together. And here's the prompt. I need you to take my three widgets and give them an upgrade. I need them to be relatively the same as I have them, but I want you to make them look like a $10,000 design team made them. Keep them as three separate widgets. Now, if your attention span can make it another 30 seconds, I'll shortly be explaining how I turn these into 3D elements. Let's do one more example, but this time of a bank account. Here's what I started with, and here's what it gave me. You get the point. But now let's say you're completely brain dead, and you can't even come up with a simple idea. Type in this prompt. I'm trying to make two widgets. The first widget should convey the message of DaVinci Resolve, and the second widget should convey the message of After Effects. Can you give me the basic design features of both so my tiny little brain has an idea of what to start with? And it will simply give you the basics to start. Now, as you can see, I'm retarded and couldn't follow the instructions very clearly. This is not a problem at all. Let's give this back to ChatGPT and let her fix our mess. Now this is wild, but not quite useful yet. I'm gonna show you how to turn these into 3D widgets inside of DaVinci Resolve, but this will work the same with any software. So once we drag the image into Canva, we can select Remove Background. And from there, we can crop out the one side of the image, and we're gonna save that as a transparent PNG. Now inside of DaVinci Resolve, we can drag the image in. We're going to select the Fusion tab, press Shift, Space, and add the following nodes. Image Plane 3D, Duplicate 3D, Transform 3D, and render 3D. Then you connect the render 3D to the media out. The hard part is done. You just have to remember this sequence. We can click on the duplicate 3D node and for the Z offset, we're going to type in 0.002. And for the copies, we're gonna type in something like 30. Then we can click this little white dot on the transform node to bring up the left viewer. We're going to drag the rotation Y to about minus 50 so that we can see the side of the widget. It looks a little bit thick, so we're going to go back to the duplicate node and type in something like 15 instead. Now we can come back to the transform node and we can animate this to do whatever we want. I'm gonna rotate it to about minus 99. Keyframe the rotation and make sure that we're on the first frame of the clip. Then we can come to about frame 65, which is about two seconds, and we can set the rotation back to zero. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to the spline and check both the boxes and then hit this little box with the two arrows. Drag your cursor over the green line and press S to smooth it out. Now if we come back to the edit tab and add a gradient background behind it, you can see that it's 3D. I'm gonna be staying very up to date on AI, so if you don't wanna fall behind, hit the subscribe button.